Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we are going to be talking about my top five favorite features in the new iPhone 10. Now, my first feature that is a favorite, obviously, there's probably more than five, but we're going to just keep this to the top things that I'm super into. Number one, the OLED screen. And the first thing that kind of took me by surprise is how small this phone is. Now, the phone itself is small in comparison to any of the plus sized phones, but the crazy part is, is the actual screen itself is slightly larger than the screen on the plus phones. So, for size, Reference. Here is the 8 Plus and here is the 10. So judging by just the body size, you can tell that this one is much, much smaller than the Plus. What is crazy to me though is, this is the iPhone 8. These are almost the same exact size. But when you put the screen side by side, that's where you can see the huge difference between the size of this screen and the 8 screen. Just take a look at that. It really is all screen. I'm so proud of myself because I haven't called it the X one single time since I started this video. So Apple is calling this the super retina display. One of the things that I think a lot of people were worried about is because there is this notch cut out that, that is going to take away from watching movies or watching content on your phone. And to be honest with you, I really didn't even notice that it was there. You have two options. You can either enlarge it to full screen, so yes, the notch will be cut out, or you can squeeze it and shrink it down so that it only plays in this little area right here. Since I haven't had this very long, I haven't really got to watch any long feature films or anything really that crazy because I basically just got it and I've been making videos nonstop. I'll be doing a full review once I've had this for at least a week, so stay tuned for the week with iPhone 10 video. I mean, come on. You guys know I've got to do one. Number two is the front facing portrait mode. And I absolutely love portrait mode on the iPhone. I've been using it ever since it was first released into beta, but I was pretty surprised at how well this actually worked. But with the new front facing features, it's able to sense depth. And with that, you're able to get some incredible portrait mode photos. Here's a few that I took while we were outside. And as you can see here, this is with portrait mode on and this is with portrait mode off. And also just like the rear camera portrait mode, you can also go through and use some of the portrait lighting. So. Let's take this photo for example. This is a picture that my sister took. So if we go into edit, you'll see here you have all of the same features that you have from the back camera. Non-portrait mode, portrait mode. You can switch to the natural light, to the studio light, contour light, and the stage lights, which didn't work very well on this photo, but I do have another one that it worked really well on and I was quite impressed. I mean, look at that. I mean, that cut out almost absolutely perfect. Again, the portrait mode is still in beta, so you will sometimes get an imperfect photo and that doesn't just happen on the iPhone, that happens on any of these phones that have these new portrait mode effects. I'll be doing a full comparison video with the Pixel 2, the Note 8, and the new iPhone 10. So we'll be able to get those shots and really see which one is the best. And again, the hard part with doing those types of comparison photos some of the cameras perform better in various lightings, so it's really hard to tell which is the best. I still say that whatever camera you have with you, that will always be the best one. Cliche, I know, but it's true. Number three is wireless charging, and I know what all of you Android fanboys and girls are saying. We've had that forever. Yeah, okay, I get it. But uh, the Pixel 2, what happened there? Where's your wireless charging at? I was actually very surprised that they decided not to do that. But anyway, moving on. The iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 both have wireless charging. So if you guys already have a wireless charger, as long as it is Qi wireless enabled, you'll be able to charge your iPhone 10 or your iPhone 8. So if you see all of those little wireless charging stations around at the mall or coffee shops, there's a really good chance that you will now be able to utilize that with your iPhone 10. There's two different chargers that Apple has out. There's this Belkin one and there's this Mophie one. The Belkin one is significantly lighter, but the Mophie one is significantly smaller. So really, I think it's kind of just a preference on which one you think looks better. I think that I prefer the Mophie one. I have one at my desk and I also have one in my bedroom. Whereas this one I feel like matches this desk very nicely. So I think it really just depends on what you're looking for. I would suggest going to the Apple store and checking them out. But I also think I probably would recommend the Mophie one. So you can just take my recommendation if you'd like. and emojis, and this was a huge highlight at the Apple event when they first announced this. I know it seems a little silly and it seems a little crazy, but really this is just showing off the facial recognition technology that Apple has now in the iPhone 10. I mean, it's kind of weird to just watch this poop emoji mimic my facial expressions, like I close my eyes, I raise my eyebrows, and it picks up all of that. Wow-wee! 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 
<laughs> oh. So this type of detail that you're seeing now, this is only a small taste of what will happen when Apple opens this up to other developers. What will they create? I'm not sure, but I'm excited to find out. I feel like there's so many different possibilities with AR kits and all of the really cool augmented reality apps. I haven't really messed around with that. So if you guys have any favorite augmented reality apps that you guys are trying or checking out, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I would love to check them out as well. Last but not least, and it's a very, very huge important part of iPhone 10. So technically, I probably saved the best for last. And that is Face ID. Now setting up Face ID is very, very simple. All you have to do is align your face after you click get started. So it tells you exactly what you have to do. Position your face. Looks like I need to move the phone a little bit lower. And now you just move your head like so. And then you're gonna do it again, just like that. And that's it, your face scan is complete. And one of the things that I was really shocked about is how fast this really is. And it is super intuitive. And it seems weird to sort of explain it to somebody, especially if they've never used any type of facial recognition software. I use it in my Surface Studio, I've used it on my Note 8, I've used it in my Samsung S8. Even though I've used it so many times before in various different things, it still was so exciting to be holding an iOS device and to just unlock with my face. And not only can you unlock your phone with your face, but you can pay with your face. Basically any place that you would be using Touch ID, Face ID has now replaced that. You can use Touch ID to buy things, but now you can use your face to buy things. I went to Whole Foods and I used it for the first time and it was really, really exciting. Yeah. Definitely getting a pumpkin cheese. This is a pumpkin cheese. This is something that I've never seen before. But today is the day. Is this something that you're into? Because I'm into it. Yeah. Are you still filming? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just used Apple Pay with my face for the first, first time. I don't know why this is so exciting. But it is. So when you guys use this for the first time, just let me know what you think. So those are my top five favorite things. There's so many other things that I really love about this phone, but I will save those for my full review video after I've actually got a chance to play with this. I didn't even add that the camera is amazing. That clearly should be in the top five feature. Ugh, there's just too many things. But so far I'm absolutely loving this phone and I look forward to making some more fun videos for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions on anything else you would like to see me test out with the new iPhone 10, leave those in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video and if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and that's it I'm gonna go at it now so I'll see you later